are here at Unplug Performance. We're proud to announce the world's first 100% EV police fleet. We're very excited to be a part of the project. And what we wanted to do today was go a bit more in depth. So we have James and Tony here, and I wanted to hand it off to them so they can talk about what's happened behind the scenes. This is not a new topic. We've been working on this for quite some time. So I'm gonna hand it off to you guys, and let's dive into it. I'm super excited to be here with uh, my now friend, Tony <laughs> Abdallah, Sergeant Tony Abdallah from the South Pasadena Police Department. Um, the uh, point today, like Ben said, we're gonna deep dive a little bit more and kind of explain what the process has been like and really kind of help uh, those of you watching today understand you know, what, we're, what we're doing here. Um, so Tony, I would love to uh, have you tell some of the folks joining us today maybe kind of what your journey was like getting up to today. I know you've been working on this for a long time. Uh, please tell us what the journey was. First of all, thanks James for having me to here today. It's uh, really exciting for us. We're really at a, a point right now where it's the culmination of about 18 years worth of research and work. When we really thought this might be a viable solution for us and it could be a better way of um, our fleet operations was coming to Unplugged. We literally showed up here about two years ago, unannounced, and said, we have this idea. We're seeing some other agencies do it on a much scaled down basis, but what do you think? You are the experts in it. You're the global experts in modifications and upfitting for Tesla. We partnered in numerous presentations before our various city commissions and city council. And with that partnership, we were able to express the benefits of a, um, of a solution like this. Not only would it meet our needs, but is it actually a better solution of the way we've been doing business in the past. Tony, could you talk more about you know, why Tesla um, we, you kind of mentioned why unplugged, and we're grateful you're trusting us with this amazing process. Um, but why Tesla in particular, and you know, what does that mean to the taxpayer? That's a great question. Um, I, I would say first and foremost, it was an operational um, question for us. Uh, it met our operational needs. So uh, Tesla's, which we ultimately went with, um, had the best, it checked a lot of boxes. It was the best combination in performance, reliability, safety, advanced technology, um, a very advanced and reliable supercharging network, yeah. which becomes important when we go on mutual aid events outside of our area. We wanted to make sure that there was reliable and sufficient um, supercharging availability. We examined um, total cost of ownership, which I think right. is really important because the purchase price of the vehicles are more expensive up front generally. But when you look at the top total cost of ownership, which is both includes both maintenance and fuel, that, those were the primary drivers of cost savings to the taxpayers. That's pretty incredible to think that you guys are getting cars that are safer, faster, more technologically advanced, more future-proofed, and you're also saving money at the same time. I mean, that's kind of, you know, those two don't normally go together. It's better and it's cheaper at the same time. Like, it's, that's crazy. It's true, and we were in a unique position too because uh, we needed to solve a big problem. Yeah. Our entire fleet was at end of life. We had financial challenges leading up to this to where uh, we needed to replace an entire fleet. Yeah. So it caused us to go back and rethink the way we do business and if there was a better way to do it that was more sustainable. Not only are we getting an amazing vehicle platform now, we're getting all of the latest emergency equipment and technology installed as well. So the features that we're able to realize now um, that both enhances officer safety and safety to the community um, there are devices that are being put in there now that will enable our dispatchers on a live map to see where uh, officers are in the city. And instead of dispatching officers based upon their beat assignments, they'll now look up and say, okay, this officer is closest to the emergency. They will dispatch that officer. 
So getting that equipment in there, enhancing the safety to the community, enhancing the safety to the officers. We're getting ballistic panels installed into the vehicles as well. Um, that is a much more reliable and predictable uh, ballistic capability than hiding behind an engine block. <laughs> so um, we're really excited at that uh, aspect of the project. Uh, we haven't talked about the climate aspect to this. Um, our city is very climate conscious. Um, they adopted a climate action plan in, I believe it was tw December 2020. So this program also checked boxes to help achieve some of the goals in the climate action plan. We're getting a fantastic vehicle platform that significantly outperforms what we have now and it saves a substantial amount of taxpayer money. It's incredible. And you, with the added climate benefits and sustainability benefits um, also included in that, it really made the decision a no-brainer for us. The maintenance, uh, because of the, the vehicle dynamics and stuff, we're expecting uh, tires, windshield wiper fluid, uh, windshield wipers, and that's about it. That's pretty easy. Uh, possible <laughs> brake, brake pads are TBD. Um, we're typically very hard on brakes, so we're expecting that um, at some point, we may need to uh, replace brake pads. But one of the other factors um, for maintenance that's important to us is uh, when a vehicle needs to go into maintenance, there's downtime to that vehicle. It's right. not operational for us. So reducing that to the level that we're anticipating with the EVs is huge for us as well because we're able to keep more vehicles up and running and deployed to the field. So, I, I mean, it's, it's pretty incredible. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, your or your fellow colleagues' um, concerns, you know, uh, about just moving to a new platform, you know, sure. uh, uh, we, there was like the Crown Vic back in the days and then, then, then there was like the Explorer and the Charger and I feel like there's all these different kinds of police cars. That's gotta be super confusing to go from one police car to another. And if I'm not mistaken, a lot of police fleets will have a Tahoe, a Charger, an Explorer, all sorts of different cars. So I'm sure unifying the fleet is good, but but are, they, are officers concerned about using a Tesla from a, well, I don't know how to drive it standpoint? Tell me a little bit about that. Sure. Um, yes, we're, we're deeply rooted in transition. I've been doing this now for, I just started my 34th year, and I've seen different iterations of different models um, play out. Yeah. And typically the way that works is the existing model that's in use now is the best that's ever been. And the new model <laughs> is always, they look at it with a jaundiced <laughs> eye. So there's an educational process that goes along with that. The ones that had not had exposure to those vehicles, of course, were skeptical right. at the beginning because they didn't know what they didn't know. But it's really interesting to see the, um, what do I call it? The their perspective changed. Yeah. Once they sat in it, once they drove it, once they experienced it, right. all the, the feet, it's very feature rich. Um, you could see the, the opinions changing. <laughs> and yes, right. to the point where uh, about a month ago, I had <laughs> detectives in my unit, because I work in our detective bureau, um, that were on their computers in the Tesla configurating, configurator looking at ordering <laughs> vehicles for themselves. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so um, I expect the same reaction to occur once the uh, patrol vehicles start getting deployed yeah. and the officers that are working the field get to experience those firsthand, that there'll be the same type of, of reaction to it. One of the really exciting things about this, like you kind of mentioned, is kind of engineering those new solutions. And this is where we really get we get into the mode, and we our our brains start turning, and it's really quite incredible the amount of engineering know-how and knowledge that's going into this project. 
the features and functionality that you all will see in the future is absolutely mind-boggling. We are coming up with solutions that nobody in the world has ever thought of, and it's because of the amazing collaboration and partnership that we have um, with th the first people to say, hey, we're gonna do this all in South Pasadena. And look, we could talk for, for, with you guys for hours on end about this, but to kind of close us out, Tony, do you have any additional thoughts or anything else you, you'd like to mention to, to share with the folks joining us today? Yeah, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the 41 other agencies that we've been tracking for the last couple years that have really been the early adopters and risk takers when it comes to um, change. Yeah. And without their help, um, their willingness to share data, their lessons learned, enabled us to, one, determine this was the right solution for us, but two, also convince the decision makers that this was the right direction to go. So without their help, we wouldn't be where we are today. We also wouldn't be where we are today without your help and Unplug's expertise as well. It was really a team effort to get to where we are now. Yeah. I'm sure this will be will not be the last conversation that we have. <laughs> this will be the first of many. Yes. And I'm just really um, excited and feel fortunate to have the opportunity to really advance an area in law enforcement that was kind of ripe for innovation yeah. and, and move forward in a very meaningful, uh, productive, safe, um, better way of doing business. So I'm so excited, um, you know, to, we're, we are so excited to get to talk to you guys today. Thank you so much for joining. Um, it's been absolutely incredible, you know, getting to share everything with you today. Um, please visit us at unpluggedperformance.com. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. And um, thank you again for joining. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.